استعادة الآثار بالنسبة لباحث مثلي هي استعادة للثقة بالنفس في المجتمع العراقي. Its repatriation itself is a tale of epic proportions. <laughs> you see, the tablet turned up in the UK in 2001. It was smuggled to the US and sold for $50,000. Fake documentation led to its resale and transport to other countries, only to have it returned to the U.S., where an auction house facilitated its sale for $1.6 million. And it's a story which has left traces, has influenced all the great uh, monotheistic religions, leaving traces also on the Iliad and the Odyssey. And in, in this sense, not only is it a treasure for Iraq, but also for our common humanity. This dream of Gilgamesh, this epic of Gilgamesh, tells us all that we have in common. This uh, ceremony here is also a welcome warning to the smugglers and looters of this world, to those who use conflicts to steal and to traffic cultural heritage, participating in the destruction of cultural diversity. Iraq has suffered so much from this kind of destruction, most recently again during the occupation by ISIS. The, the looting of the museum hit us uh, in our core because our history is really important to us. Uh, our history is what makes us. We're an old country. In fact, I can say we're the oldest country. And so uh, you can't take that from us, and this is why this ceremony, this event, uh, the attachment to uh, our artifacts is so deeply rooted in, in, uh, in, amongst Iraqis.